Here is the Balanced Body Studio Reformer. Let's talk through the anatomy of the machine first and then go through each individual section where we can talk about how to adjust it to accommodate all of the exercises within the Pilates repertoire. The outside of the, of the machine is called the frame, this big wooden piece here made of rock maple. It's very solid, very stable, will last a lifetime. Now coming to this end, we have the standing platform. This is when you can put one foot here and one foot on the carriage to do footwork and different kinds of standing leg work. Now here we have lots of parts of the machine that work here. This is our foot bar, and this is the Revo foot bar and spring bar system. Your machine may have a different foot bar and spring bar. It's still a, a studio reformer, but this, there's different options in terms of the spring bar and the foot bar. So here's the foot bar. This metal bracket right here holds the padded foot plate, also known as the jump board. This is the foot strap. This is our spring board. These are our springs, and this is the Revo mechanism. Again, our carriage. These are neoprene handles, often used for arm work. Coming to here, we have the shoulder rests, the shoulder posts, the ropes, and the straps. This is a single cotton loop strip on a strap. And the adjustment system for those is two black cleats. Then coming to this end, we have the risers and the box. All of this is in the box that you got your reformer in. Now coming back to the foot bar end, let's look at how to adjust the foot bar and the spring bar and how to change resistance on the reformer. So coming down here, here is the kickstand for the foot bar. Move that out of our way. To adjust this, the lowest position is called the low position, oddly enough. And if I move these little plastic locks into the side, that will stabilize and hold my foot bar in place. Now to adjust that, I simply move the locks out of position and take the kickstand up to the next position. This is called the high position because it's similar to what would be the highest position on many of the other balanced body reformers. This particular machine, the Revo, has another position, which I call the extra high position. Now let's bring this back down. And let's look now at the spring bar. So the spring bar, if you'll notice, has hooks and buttons. And the hooks are where the springs are when there's no load. So this is the lighter position for the springs. If you want to slightly increase the position of the springs, you go to the preloaded position. So I simply take the spring off the hook and put it on the button. And that means I have preloaded the spring, increasing the resistance slightly. Now, you'll see here a common spring configuration for this machine. We have a blue, three reds, and a green. It's your choice what configuration of spring you like. The options are yellow, blue, red, and green, and that goes from lightest to heaviest. So a yellow spring is the lightest option, then the blue, then the red, the green is the heaviest option. Let's now look at how the Revo moves the spring bar and the carriage together to change the distance from the carriage or the shoulder rest to the foot bar. Take a hold of this silver handle. I pull this up like this. I slide the whole carriage and spring bar to however far I want it to be from the foot bar position, and I let it go. This is going to increase the distance between the carriage and the foot bar, allowing me to minimize hip flexion and knee flexion for clients, let's say, who've had a recent knee or hip injury. To return that, I simply bring that up again, hooking the little hook underneath the front of the carriage, and then I move it forward and release it down. The carriage is right here. Coming now to the middle part of the machine, we have the shoulder rests. And on these machines, the shoulder rests are adjustable. What I'm going to do here is I have these pins. I just take the pins out. And then I'm going to bring the shoulder rests out of these little slots, these little keyhole slots in the carriage. If you'll notice, these are asymmetrical. What that means is I can adjust the width between the shoulder rests by simply changing the position. So you'll notice now that this is wider between the two shoulder rests. 
there's now some of the base showing on the inside. To lock that down, I simply take the pin and put it back in. If you don't want to adjust your shoulder rests or you like a more stable feel, there's also um, a screw and a bolt that you can put right through here that'll hold it steady. That should be included with your reformer in the box. Now we're gonna come on to the ropes and the straps. Here we have the straps and the ropes, and this is the cleat uh, adjustment for the ropes. Here we go, let's say I wanna make them a little bit shorter. All I need to do here is pull this rope a little bit tighter, and that will adjust my rope. If I wanna make it a little bit longer, what I'm gonna do here is pull this out, and I'm gonna loosen it up, I'm gonna put this right on here, and then I'm simply gonna use my finger to push it back through the cleat to adjust the resistance. And this just changes the length of the strap depending on the exercise that I'm performing. Now the length of the strap, the height of the foot bar, the resistance of the springs should all be noted in the manuals that you may have with your machine. Now the last thing in this area is the headrest. The headrest has three different positions, low or down. Then you have a halfway position where you're going just halfway on the kickstand or you have an all the way up position where the kickstand is as high as it can go. There's many exercises where you want to support the head in a slightly elevated position. There's other exercises, particularly where you're rolling up onto your neck and shoulders, you want it to be flat to decrease any tension on the neck and head. Now coming last to this end, the last area to adjust are the risers. In the original equipment that Joseph Pilates designed, there was a pulley right here. And instead of having ropes, he had leather straps that came from the bottom of the, sheet, uh, the machine around the pulley and back to the shoulder rests. In order to work with that kind of a system, if you're used to a classical system, you simply bring your risers down, and you'll have the same angle roughly of the ropes as you had with the leather straps. Now, with the risers, you have many options, however, which allow for more range of motion in certain exercises. For example, if I'm going to do feet in the straps and I have the riser higher, it allows me to get a full range of motion with my legs and not to uh, run into the shoulder rests with my straps. And this is something that you will find, uh, depending on your particular training method or your particular teaching style, you may or may not be a, an, a riser adjuster, or you may have them low or you may have them high. That's up to you. Last but not least, we have the box, which simply, again, comes with a reformer. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is how to clean the machine because maintaining this is very simple and very easy, but will actually improve your experience on it if you really keep the rails clean, the wheels clean, and the upholstery clean. This is not that hard to do. I'm going to take off my springs. And then I'm gonna take my whole carriage, lift it up, and just set it down on the floor just like this. Okay, not so hard to do. There's two main things I want to clean here. I'm going to take a wet rag and clean the rails on both sides and making sure that I scrape off any little bits of dust that get collected in there. It's amazing how much dust will get collected in there, honestly, so just keep those nice and clean. Also taking just again a wet paper towel or a wet rag, I'm going to clean the wheels, making sure that there's no sticky spots or bumps on either these wheels or even on the side tracking wheels, making sure those are all nice and clean. Last but not least, you may find, especially if you have a, a, a very, very busy studio or clients with long hair, that you'll end up with hair stuck in these wheels. You're gonna to wanna to go in and pull those out with some tweezers or just clean those out to make sure the wheels continue to run really well. All right, that continues, uh, or that completes that cleaning process for the rails and the wheels. That'll keep your reformer running very smoothly. Now, last but not least, simply for hygiene, you're gonna to wanna to clean the carriage as well. There's a lot of different options available for this purpose. Bounce Body has developed our very own vinyl cleaner that we tested so that it wouldn't break down the vinyl, it would actually do the job it was meant to do. Um, there's also other products that are available in the commercial fitness space for cleaning exercise equipment. 
Basically, you want to make sure that you clean off your vinyl, your shoulder rest, your head rest, and your foot rest um, frequently. Again, as often as is required by your studio use. One other thing for cleaning, you can also take your cotton loops and you can wash them in your washing machine. Now, you'll notice there's this metal piece on here. This will kind of clang around your dryer. So the trick I usually use is I put these inside a, a um, pillowcase with a towel. I tie a knot at the end of the pillowcase and that's how I wash and dry these. It keeps them from digging up the inside of your washer. All right, so we've gone through the foot bar, the spring bar, the adjustments on the shoulder rest, the adjustment on the ropes and the straps, the adjustments on the risers. This should give you a lifetime of excellent service. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact Balanced Body. We have a wonderful technician who can help you out with any questions you may have about your machine, how it works, or any problems you may be having. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact your instructor or anybody else you're working with in the Pilates universe. So enjoy your time with a reformer. I think it'll be a great friend for you for a long time.